yet because of the shape of the coastline, it's very critical as to exactly what kind of a track this thing takes. Folks are really scared this time. It could be as bad as Fran, it, it could get worse. This is the way the main road off Whitesville Beach in New Hanover County looked this morning. The evacuation of thousands of residents off the barrier island was slow, but for the most part, orderly. We know what they can do, particularly after Fran, and uh, we're going to try to secure everything in the house, make it as safe and um, as damage-free as we can, and get off the beach. North Carolina Barrier Islands are virtually deserted this noon as folks flee inland. I'm here on College Road and New Center Drive, and we're taking a look at the crowds getting out of town. You can see down the road here, at least a mile and a half uh, is about all I can see, and there are cars solid from that point forward. The lights are still on, however, and people are having to wait at certain times, like these young ladies here. Are you getting out of town? Yes, we are. Where are you going to go? Uh, Chapel Hill. It's taking forever. We've been in line here for like two hours. Where did you start from? 17th Street, back from Carolina Beach. And it's taking you almost two hours to get here? You can see it's very slow going from uh, this point forward on College Road and just up the road is where you get on I-40. There have been lines there, of course, all day long as well, but I think once you get on I-40, it's probably bound to start going a little faster. Officials couldn't have waited any longer on the evacuation because already by midday, the surf, the wind, and the rain were getting very nasty. The hours of continuous rain made the mass exodus even tougher. Already flooding rain from Hurricane Floyd made many Wilmington streets impassable, something many motorists found out the hard way. Flooding closed several New Hanover County roads, diverting traffic, and resulting in long, rain-soaked backups on most routes inland. For residents who stay, the only thing left to do now is hunker down and pray. <laughs>